All right, everybody. This is part six of the <laughs> Tommy Teabags and Taint Peter playthrough of Lords of the Fall, and we just beat uh, the Horseman boss by the first beacon and extinguished the fuck out of it. And now we are here. I'm gonna do a yeah, little bit of leveling up. Yeah, he tried to tramp all over us, and we said nay. <laughs> we said nay, sir. Not today, sir. That sounds like some Hamilton shit, actually. Yeah, right. <laughs> Nay, sir. Not today, sir. <laughs> uh, if I remember correctly from the first playthrough, this is we're gonna go through all these crates right here, and there's gonna be a bunch of little poison dudes rolling at us. Let's see, agility, vitality. Want a little bit of radiance, but maybe now's not the time. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, I'm gonna do endurance and vitality. Yeah, kept away from radiance. So far. Yeah, I've realized I'm going to need a little bit of it, but just want a ton of it. Talk to the merchant here. Thick here. It's an odd light that burns in your lamp, friend. Of course, the dark, the only light you ever read. He watches over. He just does so. Let's see what this guy has to sell. Exiled stalker dagger. Oh, that's pretty good. Doesn't have any status effects though, so it's out for me, dog. Mm-hmm. I like the bleed damage a lot. I'm just killing some roly boys over here while you're talking to him. I think that's a great idea. Oh, He's got poison boys. cures. Alright, I'm coming in. Oh yeah, they're all over this place. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what? I think this is the area where it's got... We'll get introduced to our first little trick item. Yes, uh, I'm going to try not to get introduced to it, but I, I think we can point it out to everybody. In fact, yeah, there's a good tip that we have learned about how to tell trick items from not trick items. And you know what? I'll sacrifice myself. I'll get chomped. So that the audience can see. Where'd you yeah, go? Right here. Here you are. We gotta find the item first. Oh, it used to be right here. I don't see it. So maybe I'm it sure moves. It I wonder. Some areas have like trick items that move around and you know, they always just look like this. And here it is actually. This is it, I think. Yeah, so as you guys are looking at my screen right now. You'll see this little orange item has a tail on top that really just like waves to and fro very, you know, how would you say it? Flamboyantly. It's like they all kind of slowly wiggle back and forth. This one's like got some sass to it. And I'll show you what happens if you should try to pick it up. <laughs> yeah, it's not fun at all. It immediately sends you into the umbral and it fucks you up bad. It so, sure does. Let's see. That's okay. At the same time, this also gives us a chance in the Umbral to really discover all the hidden secrets in here. That's right. In fact, I see another item over yonder. Yeah. Oh, here's a uh, shortcut to kick down in case we find our way down there. Oh, you know what? here's a flying, flying moth lady, you know, that she's probably got something good. Yes, sir. You know, so if you take a moment and look, we're actually by where we were before that boss. So that flying moth lady in that little cave, we fought her already and we got the item in that cave. So now we're just on okay. the other side of this whole thing, which is kind of interesting. In fact, we can open up another shortcut, I think, if we go this way. I do love shortcuts. Oh man, I'm a shortcut fanatic. Can't help myself. Um, I don't think it's taking the easy way out. I think it's just being smart about it. Oh yeah, it's like, what if I want to get back here next time and I don't want to go all over the place to do it? Tommy T bags and Tink Peter here, just doing what we do. Here's Another the shortcut, kicking down that ladder right there. Mm -mm -mm. Man, poison resist bomb too. You know, I think it's a great time to take a moment here at the game to express to everybody how much we love our bleed damage. 
Oh, man. Yeah, that's a great point. We love our bleed damage, guys. We are not afraid to talk about it. I mean, bleed... these guys are killing each other over here. Yeah, I probably should have just left him alone, I guess. But, yeah, uh... just let him go after it. So it seems like there's, like, normal humans fighting these, like, undead mm -hmm. thingies. Oh, there's an item here. Look at this. The Pendant of Burden. Great, my first necklace. Let's put this on. A pendant incorporating several claws and a small mossy skull. Deal additional damage for every status effect inflicted upon an enemy. Oh, well, you know I gotta do that, because I'm all about those status effects right now. You know how many status effects? Can you think of a status effect that you would probably prefer at this very moment? To bleed? No, not at all. Absolutely no. not. It's the best one. And you know, guys, let's let's go in our Wayback Machine and let's talk about a little game called Elden Ring. Now, mm. I think, uh, I don't remember what, what you were playing on that, but I know that I had samurai swords with a fuck ton of bleed damage on them, and I just used them to, well, let's just, let's just be honest about it, beat the fucking game into submission. Yeah. I beat the whole fucking yeah. game, uh, because that's just how good bleed damage is. Sorry, I can hear you trying to talk, Tommy. I'm sorry, I'm such a chatterbox uh -huh, right now. Oh, that's okay. I was <clears> going <throat> to say, I do remember having samurai swords. I think I was doing the, uh, the Moonlight Samurai, um... Mm-hmm. I was really shooting some heavy magic out of mine. But the bleed, oh my. Oh my, oh my. Yeah, I think mine oh was called my. Rivers of Blood. And I think that if you uh, just listen to the name and think about what that might mean, you'll understand quickly what kind of a sword that was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> rivers of Blood. Rivers, rivers of, of Blood. blood. <laughs> <laughs> now, we've been hanging around in the Umbral for quite a minute here. Oh, let's see. We're only up to 1.1 times. Yeah, I think we should keep hanging. Well, we you know, got an hour right here if we wanted. It's true. Let's keep it going. Because if there's one thing that makes me feel safe in the Umbral, it's having my good old buddy Tommy T-Bags here to back me up. I'm here. We got some bleed swords. I think we're okay. I think we're doing pretty good. go down over here and we're actually right by our uh vestige but that's There's okay a, look at this shortcut right here oh Let's that's right down. i'm gonna kick that down real quick let me just keep going why not why not my friend why not i really feel like i'm dressed for a courtney love video when i look at this outfit that i'm wearing <laughs> <laughs> i can't really explain why it just feels that way to me Seems like something she'd wear, like dressed like an angel cockroach or something. Oh, yeah, man. Boy, she was a skank of the 90s, that lady. And I think most people would agree. Yeah. Oh, we got a puppy dog down here. Yeah, and we're, if we defeat these guys, I got a place I'd like to plant a vested seed. All right, destroy that foo real quick. What's up, oh, yeah, asshole? Yeah, they blow up when you kill them. Dude, we just destroyed these guys. I think there's more of these dogs coming up here. I yeah, right here. Yeah. Out of the way and heal real quick. Oh yeah, this guy. He has a oh. uh, pet seed back here. I'll get rid of it. Yep, I got him. I got one. Nice. Of them. Now it's time to just destroy his butt. Dude, this bleed damage is fucking crazy. I feel like this entire playthrough video is just gonna be us going, bro, bleed damage. <laughs> Free bleed damage, bro. It is amazing. Here, let's go uh, up here to the right. Oh, do you see this axe just spinning in place on yours? Let's see where you at. Uh, you must not see it. You'd see it right here. No, I don't. Well, that's all right. The audience will see the spinning axe on my screen. So let's go up and take a sharp left. And it's I'll, Roy's Gorge. I'd like to plant a good old seed right here. And then let's take a rest. And I think we have a little sort of like mini boss to fight. All right, let's take that rest. Oh, shit. 
Rest. Here we go. Get us out of the umbral. Take a little sip of my drink here. You having anything to sip on tonight while we play uh, Lords of the Fallen? Just finishing up a little highball. Mm, 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 mm. I have a little bit oh, of a scotch and ginger beer. Got a little bit of a dirty old vodka Lacroix over here myself. Ooh. Let's take don't a tease me. run off to the right here. <laughs> don't tease. Please don't tease me, <laughs> sir. I'd appreciate oh. it if you wouldn't tease me. Oh, that's right. This is where we can get the items from these guys if we just fight them real quick. All right, we could totally do that. Oh, great. Lagging out over here. You know, Lord of the Fallen, get your shit together. Oh, we did get some Brio stones and such from these boys. All right. Fogwell. Well, I'll just go on in here. Now, this guy, I remember having to parry a lot. Yet I'm not built for parrying on this one, so I'm curious to see how this is going to go down. Oh, ow, leave me alone, leave me alone. <laughs> Shit. All right, one thing I can do, though, of course, is throw some holy grenades at him. I got a parrying sword here. You know, maybe I'll go for the bleed. Yeah, there you go. If you want to get the parries in, I'll hit him with my knives for bleed damage. That should hurt him. I'll come in here a little bit. Oh, he got me on that one. Oh, the bleed is, is fucking him up pretty good. Alright. You know, it's that extra knight that he brings out like that. Oh my god, dude. He just kept coming with attacks right there. But the good news is, I'm in the umbral, and I think... Fuck you, asshole. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Tried to parry that. Where's my buddy? Here we go. Ooh. Well done. Did it work? Oh, he killed me. Yep, I'm here. All right, I need to be more aggressive with him and just come right in. And in fact, I can bring a shield. I can bring a shield and parry him. I don't need to be doing double, double dudes here. My main weapon has enough bleed. Let's see here. I'll get rid of this mace. I'll add my shield back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna bypass these boys. Yeah, I'd like to go in with full health if I can. You want to just bypass all these guys too? Yeah, because honestly, when you kill these guys, they're, they're not worth much um, vigor. Like, the, the items are fine, but the vigor's low. It's not worth the fight, in my opinion. You do it once, uh, you know? Get them nice items and... Here, I'm going to traverse. Oh! Oh, he tried to fuss. He did. All right, asshole. Come on, try to get me. Nice. Back out and heal here. Maybe give him a little bit of this old holy grenade or these... Uh... Damn it. Oh, I oh, did not see that coming. Fuck, man. I forgot that he summons people. I feel kind of stupid right yeah, now. Yeah, me too. Me too. God damn you, motherfucker. Yeah, this guy's a fucking dick. And actually, like, he's usually not that bad if you just parry him, but... He made a fool out of me there because I forgot that he summons people. Same. And damn that holy damage. He, he got me with that. So maybe I'll put on a holy ward before we go in. And... Bring my shield. Uh, we got this. We totally got this guy. This guy's actually not that hard, usually. Beauty of that second playthrough is you just gotta shake off the rust. You're like, what am I supposed to do here? Oh, yeah. You know, I totally forgot. Holy ward. Okay, cool. Here we go. Looking for trouble. Lords of the Fallen. But this time it's double. Two boys playing with toys. Mm. Fighting bosses. Well, one of these boys is dressed like a peacock. The other boy. <laughs> uh, man, I ran out of rhymes there. That's why I can't be a rapper. You, you gotta, you gotta work on that. Come on, hit me, you you're piece actually, of shit. You're actually pretty good. 
Usually. Yeah, usually I'm not the worst rapper. Although I've gotten worse as I've gotten older. Come on, butthole. Come on. Oh, I'm gonna get out of there. Shoot him with arrows, way. Oh, that's so fucking cheap. I hate that fucking summon he does. Dude, I'm fucking losing it. Alright, I'm backing off, I'm backing off. Gonna take my fucking heal. I'm in after you. Yeah, he is. Eat this, motherfucker. Oh my god, dude, he comes through his fucking summon. You can't see him coming. Oh, the fucking summon. I don't remember him having the summon. I really don't. He's healing. Surely he did. Alright, I'm in the umbral now. Fuck that shit. He's healing. Alright, I'm gonna try to hit him with some shit. Try to stop that heal. How is this? Oh, he's blocking my fucking shit. Come on, you motherfucker. Let's go to town. Let's go down to China. Fucker. Oh, I dodged that. Dude, what the fuck was that? I'm dead. Did he get you? Yeah. I don't know why I remember this guy being easy. Maybe he's not easy. <laughs> it's um, it's just remembering the patterns of his fucking summons. That's what it is. Yeah, and then, and then once he starts getting that extra healing buff going on, it's kind of annoying. Well, that's, yeah, it's fucking insane. I just, I remember I beat him by parrying and just like literally not hitting him until I broke his posture and then just fucking him up really quickly. But mm -hmm. that was a different build than I have right now. However, my parrying is going well with him. It's just that he's doing these summons that I'm not expecting. I have to just, like, keep a closer eye on when he's hitting versus when he's, like, there's a good parry. There's a fucking summon. There's a good parry. Yep, all right, come on, motherfucker. Hard to knock his poise, too. Yeah. Come on, motherfucker. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hit me. There we go. Bingo. That's what you like to see. Let's get that bleed damage up. You realize he's not holy anymore. Oh, that's the thing. Yeah, that's what we needed to do. Oh, that's what it is. He has a fucking, he has a fucking, like, seed around him. If we look with our umbral lamp, that's what it is. So he can't do those summons if we remove the seed. Here, like, check this out. Hmm. Boom. Now he's a bit, that's what the secret was. Yeah, it's fucking yep. easy, nothing. All right, that's what it was. Forgot about that part. There's a chest back there for you, I believe. Nice, and I got the Ring of Brilliant Protection, which we will look at in a moment. Grab this item here. Regular Duralium, love it. Gonna need that for my weapons here. And Bloodlust, oh my god, that's a weapon that I need immediately. Hold on. Nice. Bloodlust, where are you? Where are you, Bloodlust? Oh yeah, oh yeah. So you'll see, Bloodlust is exactly the, the sword for me because I'm doing an agility and inferno build this skills mm -hmm. with both agility and inferno right now they're both C it has 60 bleed and 60 poison mm. um fucking amazing and with different rings and shit you can make this even fucking crazier uh, than it already is so I can't use it yet I still need 13 inferno to wield this but tell you what Tommy you know where I'm going to be pouring my points next. Straight into Inferno so I can fucking use this thing. Well, let me ask you this. Did you get the Panoptic Ring earlier that you picked up around those turtles? 
Uh, got Battle Rager, Inferno, and Radiance attributes. I did. Oh, shit. Yeah, I sure as hell did. So let's see. Probably going to replace the Miner's Ring with that. Boom. Now maybe I can use that sword. Mm -hmm. Still not quite there. Still not quite there. But I do, mm. I do like the idea of wearing this anyway. Raises Inferno and Radiance. That's Vitality and Endurance. That's Clutch. Clutch. A couple of things there. But also, hold on. Let's see. The ring I just picked up with him. Ring of Brilliant Protection increases resistance to smite. Yeah, let's be honest. Not something we really need right now. But why don't you take this shortcut with me really quickly? I'd be happy to. And then I think we'll uh, come back down to my vestige rest. And then I dare say, perhaps it's time to go to Tommy's world. What do you think, bud? Ooh, I'm going to prepare a hot glass of water because <laughs> this tea bag is ready to get dipped. <laughs> yes. <laughs> This tea bag's gonna get dipped. Well, why don't you just go ahead and prepare yourself a little honey and lemon, because this tea bag's ready to do some steeping. All right, let's come back down to my other dual vestige point. Now that the shortcuts, are. actually, I guess we could warp. I mean, if we want to go. Oh, you know what? Oh, it's so tough. It's so tough because we could continue on through here. I think we should. You think we should? Okay, let's do should. it. Let's do it. And then we'll just we'll just get to the next message for you. Oh shit! Oh I'm shit! Gone. I'll be able to call <laughs> you. Cause you know where this goes. This mm -hmm. is important. Yeah, I guess we really we'll just important. fight it all the way through. Um, you call me in there. Oh, I thought I did. I'm sorry. We will fight our way through. Hit this guy with a javelin later, bitch. We'll get to the Skylink, or what is it? The Skyrest Bridge. Skyrest Bridge. Hub World. All right, here we go. Whoa, giving away all going for secrets to all the people. I am. I am. You're right. Like, guys, let's just see where this goes. <laughs> Who knows? Look at that fucking bleed oh, build up. Even with just one weapon. I, I got you, down. buddy. I got you, bud. This happens a lot in this area, guys. You just gotta try to line up the corners. Yeah, that's really the trick. Corner lining. They'll try to push you off the edge here, too. Be careful. When you play through this area, my friends, there's a lot of hidden guys trying to just rush out from behind like crates. And shove mm -hmm. you off the edge of this. In fact, just let's just appreciate the view. Holy fuck, man. Kind of wild. No, I think there's a fire knight or somebody stronger up here. Or you know what? No, I think it's one of the pinheads. Yeah, I think you're right. I just want everybody to appreciate that we just beat a boss and we're doing this with no refresh on our heels or anything. Straight afterwards. Don't give a fuck. Yeah, Such is the way. We? Such why is the way care? of these boys. We don't fucking care at all. We are just powering through here. Destroying people. Man, bleed damage is the way to go in this fucking game, I gotta say. I like this guy just kept bleeding after you left him. Well, that's how I like to leave him, usually. Bleeding. There's that's an item around one. here, everybody. Don't forget. Come this way. Grab this. That's a one bell staff. It's actually not that good of a knife. <laughs> but, oh, 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 oh come on up. Come on up. There we go. There's my black feather, buddy. Here I am. Rock you like a hurricane. Kiss my ass. You know, I think... I think hard rock and metal only sounds better when you got a feather, black feather cape on you. Yeah, exactly. Or when you're literally dressed like a dirty moth, like myself. Ice grip. Okay, when we get to Skyrest, or maybe when we start in your game, we gotta talk tanks. Oh, we gotta talk tanks. 
How we it's, go down here, right? It, yeah, we do go down there. Tinked talking is so important, and we have not done it yet. Uh, tinks are a big deal. Now, guys, really quickly, take note of this door over here, and I'll show you. We cannot yet open it. We need the Skyrest Bridge key to open that door. We don't have it yet, right? Look, well, this looks like Skyrest Bridge, and if you're really uh, careful, you'll notice... It might, it might be hard to notice from this angle, honestly, but we fought Pieta right on top of this. We are underneath mm -hmm. the Pieta battle zone and very near our hub world. So let's see. What the fuck are we supposed to do here? I guess we... we the umbral and take a path across, right? That's we drop right. we down or... That's right. That's right. So we actually walk out this way. Yep. Where your old buddy Taint is. We're going to drop down right about... Let's see... Right about here. Boom. Pick up this item, the old faithful bludgeon. Mm -hmm. Take out our lamp. We'll see. Oh, there's another way to walk. It took me a while nah. to figure out this was here in my first playthrough, folks. Huh, I'm pretty, yeah, I think there might be some bad boys to kind of try to pop out here in the umbral. <laughs> there are, and the reason is we got to go into the umbral because otherwise they will come attack us if we're just holding out our lantern and we will fall to our deaths. We do not want to do that. I got the path pulling across over here. Thank you. So much for that. There's a great item coming up. Uh, we're not going to go straight up here. Look, there's a staircase. You could climb this ladder. We're not doing that right now. What we're going to nope. do is go across this. I'm going to quickly soul flay this. Grab that. Yep, because bad boys are coming. Here we go. Grab that. And run across, right? Yep, and I'm There's actually going to... the umbral right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great point. I forgot about that. Boom. Now, we could fight those guys, but I'm going to be honest. Our, our latest checkpoint is very far away, and I don't want to die. And they're pretty tough, so we're just going to go yeah, ahead and, and get out of the... Also, we can also just go right into Skyrest here, right? That's right, and here's an item here, the Crimson Rector Shield. Now we're going to open this door... This is the Skyrest Bridge key. We're going to go back up here. And we're going to use the lanterns to walk right through here. And then you might now recognize where Taint Peter is taking you. That's right. Taint Peter has led you right back to Skyrest. Look here. If you can't tell already, boom, we're in our hub world. Guys, look. This is it. Here's Pieta. You know, all of our favorite friends. Here's this guy who wants our lamp, and he's a dickhead. Got the thief key. Now, the thief key is going to take us to a whole other area, but we're not going to worry about it yet. It's a difficult area, and I do not think that we are properly prepared for it. That's all I'm saying, guys. You got to go when you're ready. And I just, just take it from a guy who's played through the game. We're Our not ready yet, but we're getting close. I'm going to upgrade my character. Yeah. You know what? I actually upgraded my Radiance and Inferno up to 10 each. Yeah. I got my Radiance to 10 and I'm right now literally putting my Inferno to 11. And if I have nice. some Vigor Skulls, maybe I'll put it up even higher. Yeah. Let's give it a shot. Because I would love to use that new sword. I don't want to pump any more shit into my old sword. I need the new one, and I need it now. You know what I mean? Oh, no, I know Ooh, what you mean. So close. So close. In fact, with that ring on, maybe I can actually use that sword. Let's see. I can. Okay, cool. Bloodlust. This is going to just destroy the living fuck out of people. Let me just see what the difference between Hallowed Praise and Bloodlust is. Oh, well, Bloodlust does... Okay, so Hallowed Praise, what I'm using right now, does 80 bleed damage. Bloodlust does 60 bleed damage, but it also does 60 fire damage. So mm -hmm. it's... It's basically twice as gnarly. That's amazing. Yeah, I'm doing 70 bleed damage right now on my Hallowed Condemnation. Well, I think we know what we have to do.
Bloodlust plus one. Ah, you again. All right, I have just enough money to bring this bloodlust up to plus two. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is going to be good. All right. And now, my friends, introducing bloodlust. Widely considered, actually, to be one of the best swords in the game, depending on your build. And for my build, it is for sure a fantastic sword. Well, I should what are those, go what ahead. Are those scaling ratings again? So for right now, they're C plus and C plus, but I've only got it to plus two. And the more I upgrade it, those will rise. I could definitely get this to be an A plus scaling sword. Oh yeah, oh yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. And I I don't want to have to remind everybody, but goddamn, bleed plus sixty, inferno plus sixty, or fire or whatever, and then also. There's a ring I can get later that turns bleed damage into poison damage. If I wear that, I'm getting bleed, fire, and poison all plus 60 on this sword. Oh, man. Mm. 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 Well, I dare say, since we've come this far, shall we go to your world and play through? I think so. 